Hi friends, this is Tim Schrock from Design Build Solutions. I'm going to bring you a bonus tip today that comes from a question uh, comes from a question of a Patreon supporter, Don, who's asking about how to import and use um, grade lines or, or terrain grades that um, aren't sent with a CAD file. They're sent with either a picture file or a PDF. I thought I'd done this before, but I can't find that video. So here it is. Let's get started. So I've mocked up a, a little house and Don has sent me the, um, uh, the PDF file that he wants to use. Don, I'm going to use the PDF file because it, it seems like it's a bigger, more, um, uh, clear with with better resolution than the PNG file you sent. Um, not that you couldn't do it with either one, but that's just uh, I'm just going to show the PDF file. Here's the PDF file, and let's switch over to the plan file. I'm going to open my uh, f file browser in a Mac. It's called the Finder. In a PC, I don't recall what it's called. Anyway, open up the file browser, and I'm just going to drag that PDF file onto the, the plan. Um, PDF files may have multiple pages. You can, um, this one has only one, but you can select through different pages. You can import the current page, certain pages, or all pages. I'm just going to import the current page. doesn't really matter. Next, I'm um, going to move this off to the side. And typically, I like to put this on a separate layer. I'm not going to worry about that right now too much. I'm going to draw a line. Um, oh, there's a fox out there. All right, that was exciting. Uh, we're back on to the uh, regularly scheduled programming. Uh, so I'm going to draw a line. I'm going to hit the W key on my keyboard for a line, and I'm going to hit F10 so I turn off the angle snaps. Now I'm going to draw a line. What I'm doing here is trying to get a sense of the scale of what um, this PDF file is. I'm going to draw a line from one point to the other of a straight, what I'm trying to do is find that straight line of the longest known line. So this line here goes to that intersection of these two uh, points and that should be, that line is given as 202 feet. Um, it's probably not right now, but we're going to find what scale that is uh, to get it. Now, currently, the line I just drew is 325 and 125, 128 of an inch. <laughs> let's, um, let's see what that scale is. I use a, an app called ArcCalc, and we're going to take 202 feet divided by 325 and 125, 128 of an inch. So 7.4361174356 is the scale. I would need to um, multiply this PDF by. Let's I'm going to highlight this and copy that. And then over here I'm going to select both the line and the PDF file, the picture file and I'm going to transform replicate these objects right here to resize by that 7.436 number. So I'll paste that into the resize factor. Zoom out. Now 202 feet in inches is 24, 24 inches. Now when I open Now when I open the um, two hundred 
202 feet is 24, 24, 2,424 inches. Now when I open this line, I'm at 24, 24, and 1, 128 of an inch. Close enough. I've probably, I'm probably off by 1, 128 of an inch on the uh, end point somewhere. I can delete that line. And now, let me, let me back up and say quickly, um, I would scale, I tend to scale the um, picture file or the PDF file before I rotate anything. Um, I just, I've found a couple places where it's, where it's important to keep that XY of bringing the, just the, um, bringing the picture file in and then scaling it before I rotate it. Um, I can't remember exactly where that is, but it, I, that's just a habit I've gotten into. Now, um, I may or may not want to, you know, um, make this 140 foot line maybe parallel to the front wall of the house. I, you can do that by the same thing, drawing a line from that intersection. It doesn't really have to be intersection to intersection. It just has to be parallel to the um, to the line because I want to find this angle, 4.577. I'm going to copy that. And now I'll select the line and the PDF file and transform replicate by rotating minus and paste that 4.577 number. Whatever you, however you want it to be, I'm just arbitrarily um, selecting the uh, this 140 foot line to be parallel. Now I'm going to place that here and build a terrain. You could certainly take the time to um, make that terrain follow your property line. Sometimes I like following the property line. Sometimes I like making it bigger than the property line. It just all depends on how you want to do it. I'll just do it like that for now. Now I'm in the mode of trying to figure out um, so current grade is plus two feet right through here. I'm from zero to plus four feet across these corners. Um, what, how far out of the ground do I want this um, do I want the uh, uh, first floor? Do I, yeah. Um, so, interestingly, this many times you're given you're given um, the floor elevation at sea level. We don't, and and then you're like plus nine hundred and thirty-seven feet or something like that. Um, this is a little different. So, I'm going to say this it needs to be fifty-four inches. out of the the first floor needs to be 54 inches at 54 um, I have to think backwards a little bit now let's let's leave it at zero so I'm going to open the terrain specification and uncheck automatic so it's zero And that's not quite going to work. If I, because um, this zero, I'm not sure how they picked zero when they drew this. Um, this zero isn't in relationship to the house per se. Um,
Let's close this right now. Yeah, right now the house is the terrain is at zero. Yeah, let's do 54. We're going to change this to 54. Subfloor height above terrain is 54 inches. Now I'm going to draw an L. I'm going to use elevation splines. So I'm going to draw this is my zero line. I'm going to right click and then just give it points and escape. Right click, let go. Now I'm just, I can just go left click, left click, left click. And escape. So this is plus two, so 24 inches. That's at zero, that's great. Again, right click, right click, right click. Just going to kind of trace that. line here as close as I can. It doesn't have to be perfect because Chief will kind of interpolate anyway. Now here's something um, as you're drawing these splines you don't want this temporary um, I, I know I've got angle snaps off, but the temporary um, line snaps or object snaps are on, and I'm like, I, I can't quite do it. So I'm going to hit. That's because we have the endpoint up here is is snapped. Endpoint. The last endpoint is is um, got a temporary point. I'm just going to hit the one key on my keyboard to release that temporary point. Now I can click anywhere I want without the line, without the um, line going there. Now I'm going to escape and stop here and draw a elevation line from that spline. Just up here. So that's minus four feet. Minus four feet and then we'll continue the spline on from this point. You get the idea. You can keep going with that. Build the terrain and let's take a view of that. All right. So there is your terrain with some of the um, some of the grade lines drawn in there. If we want to keep going, we could draw a grade line. There. These are pretty steep grades to be, you know, to be this far, this close together, um, four feet Every four feet is um, changing two feet in grade, so that's pretty close together. Wait, that's not minus 96. That's minus 72. Minus 96. Four, six, eight. back 
here. Yeah. So that's uh, importing a CAD file, not a, a grade plan that's not a CAD file, whether that's PDF or um, picture, PNG or JPEG uh, format. <clears throat> scale it up based on the um, scale. Rotate it uh, however you'd like. Place it on your... Um, place the property, so to speak, around your, your uh, model. And then uh, start tracing start tracing the uh, grade lines. Uh, oh, and, and rotating as well, rotating the plan as well. I hope this has been helpful um, Don, for you, Don. If, uh, for those of you who are watching who are not Patreon supporters, uh, please check that out, patreon.com slash design build solutions. Uh, if you find these videos helpful, I would really appreciate it. Uh, and I know many of you have said these videos are helpful. I would appreciate it if you would support these uh, videos, the production and time it takes um, would be nice to, to hear from you in the form of uh, support uh, for the price of a cup of coffee each month. Uh, that would keep me going and keep this education and information coming for you each month. Uh, take care. Have a wonderful week.